Hi there, welcome to Camping Secrets. I'm Marky Mark. Uh, we had a wedding to go to this weekend and we thought we'd camp nearby. We're at the Sherwood Forest Holiday Park and it's a campsite just outside of Mansfield and it is fantastic actually. I'm on my final day now and um, I'm going to show you a little bit around the site uh, just because I've got a few spare minutes. Um, it's a 52 acre site and it's got loads of trees, loads of little areas. You know, you can camp out on a field type place, but also there's isolated pitches with hedges around. 52 acres, loads of rivers and lakes, you can do fishing. Uh, and it's obviously really close to Sherwood Forest, about five miles. Uh, me and my daughter went to Sherwood Forest yesterday. It's a lovely afternoon out, park up for five pounds. Uh, bit annoying having to pay that much, but it's worth it because the Sherwood Forest itself is immaculately kept. Uh, you've got the major oak, this massive oak tree that's about a thousand years old and loads of things to do there. I uh, saw a cricket match as well, so really like the area here. Mansfield's okay if you want to do a bit of shopping. I wouldn't say it's the best town in the country, but you know, it's not bad. It, it was perfectly acceptable and there's some great pubs nearby. There's no pub directly on site at the Holiday Park, but there's a nice walk to a village nearby where there's a pub called Dog and Duck. It's about a three mile walk, takes about half an hour, well, maybe two miles. It took about half an hour to get there and when the sun's shining, it's lovely. So let me take you around the site and just show you what you can expect to see if you come to Sherwood Forest Holiday Park. Let's dig into this. Walking up to the reception area here. There's a little shop, uh, laundry information point over there. I'll show you around. So just by reception, there's this lovely little fountain and well with koi carp down in the water, swimming around. Loads of stuff for sale, all the essentials, camping gear, fun gear, and a bit of food and drink. I'm not gonna film inside. Uh, outside here, post box on site. Telephone box, actually. Wow, you don't see many of these these days. With an actual telephone in it. Wow. Don't think it works, though. Defibrillator. This is the laundry room. Now, actually, there's birds nesting in this toilet block. You can see here. Um, so you can't actually use this one. I'm not going to go in and disturb the birds. Let's just have a look in the laundry room. The uh, washer is five pounds, forty-five minutes, and the dryer a pound, twenty minutes. So I'd say the dryer is actually better value. Great to have that on site, though. If you're here for a week or longer, you might want to do some washing. Um, that seems fairly reasonable to me. Okay, let's push on and see some of the pictures Sherwood Forest Holiday Park has got to offer. So this is where the warden camps, warden on duty. They always get the best pictures, don't they? Stands to reason. <laughs> this is our pitch. Just packing up ready for the journey home but you get a very good size capable of taking an awning lots of room to sit out when the sun's shining it's lovely and very private as well with the hedge around each, each pitch in this area is sort of self-contained so the Sherwood Forest Holiday Park has got a lot of permanent caravans and tents and awnings that are here the whole year round. Really leafy surroundings, really pleasant place to be with lakes and rivers. You can see these are sort of static caravans, touring caravans that people have kept in place and they even build their own little garden areas as well. 
So we've got an outdoor pot washing area here. Does the job. There's also in internal ones as well. That typical toilet block and shower. Get your own little cubicle for the shower. Yeah, hot water. And it stays on about 10 seconds. Toilets are nice. No problem, haven't seen any blockages or anything. All nice and clean. Yeah, perfectly serviceable. Permanent caravans on site, but also green areas where you can pitch a tent. So along here by this lake, lovely little lake. You're allowed to pitch tents, people have done so. So you've got that mixture of caravans, tents side by side. If you want to be in an area where you're all together, you can do that. Or if you want an isolated pitch like we've got with the hedge around it, you've got that as well. So wide range of sort of pitching. This little area is lovely with this lake. Got some geese just here up with some babies. Are going to attack me now? Look at these little chicks. So fluffy. Another lovely lake here. Stretching about 200 yards along. With touring caravan pictures viewing out across the lake. Lovely. Such nice trees, weeping willows, plenty of oaks. Absolutely beautiful. Very easy to lose yourself here and relax. Lots of little bridges on site over rivers. It just makes it pleasant walking around. Got an ice cream van on site at the moment. It's just uh, laid out really well. I'm going to take a walk along this river and see what I can see as I do it. Ice cream. I'll have a Mr. Whippy please. Yeah, really nice. I guess anywhere is nice when the sun's shining in the UK, but I just quite like saying Sherwood Forest, I feel a bit like Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. So what about pricing? Well it's not a cheap campsite, that's got to be said. In the winter it's £30 a night, £60 for your weekend stay, and then in the height of summer it's £42.50 a night which is pretty expensive and almost double your typical campsite. I mean, I would argue that the facilities and the grounds of this campsite make it worthwhile. In our case, we were going to a wedding, uh, which happens to be about five miles away, so it really suited us to stay here, but I'm glad I've been here now. I really enjoyed it. Uh, made better by the weather, I guess. Um, but you'd have to make your own personal judgment whether you want to pay upwards of £80 in the summer for a two-night stay over the weekend. One good thing on the Sunday is that you're allowed to stay till 7pm on the Sunday. It means you can have a much more leisurely final day instead of that horrible <laughs> pack-up before 10 o'clock in the morning. Horrible feeling, especially when you've got a hangover like I had dancing till about 1am last night. Um, another toilet block here and the, the, the loos are really good uh, nothing to complain about with that just want to show you one of the indoor pot wash areas okay, so this one's inside pretty standard just a dual sink but bring your own washing up liquid 
but it's perfectly fine. You can leave the taps running, it's not one of these pressing down, you just put them on, and then we'll give you hot water consistently with decent pressure. So back at our pitch now, and one of the miraculous things about doing uh, YouTube videos is that when you come back, the awning is all packed up. It's absolutely fantastic, it's like magic. I call it the magic packing up. So what's our conclusions on Sherwood Forest Holiday Park, girls? We really liked it, it's, it's not the cheapest, but it does have good facilities, private pitches, large pitches, I mean, the size of the pitch is fantastic, and I love having the privacy with the hedge round. Of course, it helps that the sun's shining. You can't pay for that. That's random UK weather. But I think on a scale of 0 to 10, I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Would you agree? So, really good sight. Thumbs up from us. And... Uh, Hope you've enjoyed the video, so please like and subscribe, and we'll be doing loads more in the future. I better help these guys just put the final chair in. Jobs are good. See you soon. Bye.